I'm very excited about today's video. Today's video is actually going to focus on an assignment that I have and I'm very excited to share that with you and I'll tell you why in a minute. Before we get there, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any videos. I use YouTube as a form of expression and I just want to share the world with you. So I do a little bit of everything. So if you're into that, don't forget to subscribe. Because I have a mind like that, I also have my social media in the description box if you want to follow me. That one focuses on just me doing different projects. So if you're into that, go ahead and follow that account. Either way, let's start this video. So I recently signed up for this graphic design class and they gave me an assignment. The assignment was to take something really basic in your household and make 10 different drawings of it in different ways, different forms, different shapes, different everything. So you should still be able to see what the household item is, but you have to show it in different forms so some examples that he gave us was maybe making like an apple and you can make the apple from different perspectives you can you can start off with the most basic shape just like a circle and the little leaf at the top and you can try different mediums you can try different things on there so I'm very excited for this and I want to show you kind of how I go about that and I want to tell you also how I feel after because I think that's a very nice activity to just get you thinking in other ways and this may also inspire you. So if you are an artist, this may be a really great activity to do if you're stuck and like you don't know what to draw. This may be a really good activity to just get that inspiration going. So let me show you how that goes. I'm starting this little journey with a simple fork. Before I had actually started looking at the fork, I was just doing things in my mind and I didn't realize that the name fork means that there's four little thingies at the top, not three. So that was trash. I started by just focusing on the outline of the fork. I was honestly very stuck and I had no clue what direction to go to. So I figured that if I did the outline, something would come out of that. I looked at the color pencils and I found this little thing that gave me an idea. I used the light to help me with tracing and I thought maybe I could use that to make something a little bit more interesting in this image. You'll see how I get to use it on this one. As I was going through this project, I realized I have never actually explored different ways of doing something. I typically stick with a really basic format and I don't explore outside of that. So this really did push my boundaries. At this point of the process, I was just happy that at least I have one image done. I am now starting to try another one, and honestly, I was staying pretty basic. I just went with a different color, different sides, but then I started seeing this in different angles, and I, I tried to explore like how would it look like if it was sitting down, standing up, doing different things. I was trying it out, I was not happy with it. And the one thing I had to keep reminding myself multiple times through this process is that this is perfect because it does not have to be perfect. In other words, this whole activity turned into something completely different. I realized how negative I was towards everything I was doing. I was telling myself like this is not good enough and I had to continuously repeat myself and tell myself, you're doing great, you have to keep going. This looks amazing because this is the time where you define perfection and you define when it's good or when you wanna do something different. So this project really did just turn into more of a personal time for me and where I had to tell myself that I was doing a good job and I had to trust myself and I had to explore rather than judge. The more I allowed myself to just explore rather than judge myself, I started picking other things. I picked up paint. I actually started painting this fork, which is insane. I would have never thought about doing that at the beginning. Then I started actually exploring, and this is when it turned really fun. I started actually thinking of this as, how do I just have fun with this and make sure that this looks somewhat like a fork? And this, honestly, I think it started off with just how society expects you to do something. And so I started off with saying, well, this is how a fork should look like. But in reality, not really. You can still tell that this is a fork no matter how you do it, as long as it has some basic elements. So I started exploring with paints. 
and different brushes, different textures. Another thing that I tried was just using the shadow. The shadow was a great thing to trace. And then I also implemented putting the fork in a different angle and with another one. So instead of just making one fork, I was making two now and I was using the shadow to make the shape. I also found some charcoal, so I thought it would be very cool to use charcoal in this specific drawing because typically you use charcoal for things for shading and because this came from the shadow, I thought I have to incorporate this in some way. And to take you back to that perfection type of idea, when I started making this one, I thought about it, I was like, wow, this looks nothing like perfect. But I started to realize that I was changing my words. I was actually telling myself, this is great because it's not perfect. And it's actually something different and it's exciting and it's fun. And this is really when I started to trust myself. I now started making forks that didn't really look like forks, but you can tell it was still a fork. So. This is when I think I got most of my confidence because I knew I could do it even though I didn't really have the typical look of a fork, but I was still gonna make it work. After this, I just started experimenting with like different brushes, just different textures. And then I remember, and it just brought me back to my childhood. So when I was young, I used, I used to take coins and I would put them under the piece of paper and I would just kind of scratch them off with pencil on top and that's what I was going for here. So I took the actual fork, started scratching it off with pencil and I think it turned out pretty awesome. And after all that, I went back to some more paint and now I was actually using different parts of the fork to make the shape of it and also some tracing to give it some more of those typical parts of the fork. And as I come to an end with this whole assignment, I realized that I was lacking a lot of confidence at the start of this, but I definitely trust myself more and I'm really happy I went through this. Now I can have better self-talks. Okay, I got my 10 pieces. I think I did okay. I think at first I was struggling. It was tricky to see a fork in different ways. So I definitely struggled. And I think there's also this expectation that we put on our heads that we have to draw something in a certain way so like when i first started making these forks i just thought standard i'm kind of standing there basic the one that you see in a cartoon but then i realized wait i can use like maybe the shadows i can use different perspectives of it and i didn't think to do that at first i think at first it was hard to get me going and then eventually i think i started thinking different ways and it started it definitely did help me to want to do more there was a point where i was like okay like after the 10 i was like okay i think this is a good amount and i felt good but i didn't know if i was going to be able to come up with more like if i would have been asked to do 20 of those that would have been tricky to do but 10 i think was just like the perfect amount enough to push you and not too much to like stress you so i like that that was actually a really fun activity and i think whenever i do get stuck that's a great little exercise and it can be with anything okay it doesn't have to be a fork it can be whatever you want anything you have in your household you don't have to be perfect okay this is a fun activity to kind of get your brain going this does not have to look like a perfect fork this does not have to have the three-dimensional blah 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 no you don't have to do that okay you just have to let your brain explore and that's the really fun part about this project so if you're not an artist and you just want to try something, try this. This is very cool. And it's okay if you don't have many tools. I know that I tend to have a lot of paintings and stuff like that because I like to do these things. But take a magazine, cut out some pieces, make it from that, or just take the things that you have at home. Don't stress yourself out. Just enjoy. Enjoy the exploration. And that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I cannot wait to make the next video. We'll see what else comes up. And if you like this video, don't forget to follow me to see what the next thing is going to be. Bye, guys.